what is going on you guys my name is jersey -O or j and welcome back to the channel i hope you're doing wonderful so if you missed undead labs latest live stream don't worry i'm gonna have it linked in the description below the main focus of the stream was to showcase the new heavy weapons we're gonna be getting with the juggernaut edition upgrade on march 13th however they showed off a little bit more of the map they also talked prestige and answered a lot of questions but before we get into the nitty gritty quick reminder the go back and fearsome footage pack will both be retired from cash beaumont inventory once this update drops so if you need any of these weapons now's the time to jump on that we have a lot to talk about in today's video let's waste no time and hop right into it so this update will consist of 10 new heavy weapons and even though we only got to see nine of them the devs were hinting at a tenth one in the stream saying there's going to be some secrets throughout the map hmm interesting pick it up oh and there's secrets there's secrets in this secrets. map that we're not oh, ever yeah, that's gonna... true we just showed you nine heavy weapons there might be a different number of heavy weapons there may be might be more for you to <laughs> what discover have we done? but it's four o'clock so the only thing i can think of is them hiding some special weapon cases throughout the map and then that's where we'll find the 10th heavy weapon but that's just speculation and once we figure out how i'll definitely keep you guys updated now as far as the nine we do know about i'll have some slowed down footage of each one in the background and we're going to be getting a shovel a cleaver a coffee can mace which is probably my favorite one a sledgehammer a double head x another shovel but this one's going to be gold a splitting maul drive shaft club and one made out of an old time saw blade now one very important thing i would like to mention these won't be obtainable from the bounty broker they're just going to throw them in the world and we have to find them inside loot and you know what i actually like it this way because we don't have to worry about them retiring from cash beaumont so everyone will have more than enough time to find all of them even the 10th one once we figure out how the devs went on to mention because these are heavy weapons emphasis on heavy each swing will cost a big chunk of stamina so make sure you're using these when it's necessary and not being so reckless and also pairing it with the powerhouse skill which reduces stamina costs and also bringing consumables like stimulants and energy drinks will definitely help out a lot with that being said those are the heavy weapons we're going to be getting let me know below which one is your favorite and what do you think about everything a couple of more things i would like to add in my latest video i said that dlc owners will be receiving a gift from undead labs well here's some footage of them showing off each jacket and they will also be increasing the amount of prestige you can have from 9999 to 99999 and I'll have that on the screen because that's a lot of nines. Next live stream, they're going to be showing off each home base, and I'll definitely keep you updated on that. Remember, if you need any weapons from the Go Bag or Fearsome Footage Pack, now's the time to jump on that before they leave. Thank you guys so much for checking out today's video. Be sure to drop a like, also subscribe, turn on post notifications so you never miss a video, and I'll see you guys real soon with some more State of the K2 content. Peace. All right. Oh, uh, Keith wants to know, uh, what about people who bought the Independence uh, Pack? So yeah, I didn't mention that one before because it's not associated with a costume, with an outfit. Uh, but the way that the Independence Pack works now, we didn't want people who um, got the Independence Pack as part of Juggernaut to just suddenly immediately be distracted by it as soon as they started their very first game. So we've set it up so that you, uh, if you don't own the Independence Pack already and you're playing the Juggernaut Edition, you'll unlock it when you defeat all the Plague Hearts on a map. So if that's your very first map or if you move maps a couple of times, whatever, whenever you manage to clear a map of Plague Hearts, that's when we give you the Independence Pack for the first time. So, you know, so you can't just use a barrage of, you know, Pyro Launcher to kill every Plague Heart from the very beginning. You've got to actually legit take out some Plague Hearts first before you get it. Uh, but if you bought the Independence Pack, you don't have to do that. You just, you have it, you know, from, from day one, just, just like before.